We would like to calculate luminosity and flux between two stars, A and B. Here we're given that star A has four times the luminosity of star B. So here we're looking at two stars. One is a red star and one is a blue star. Star A has four times the luminosity of star B. So star B is colored red and star A is colored blue. The one that has the higher luminosity will have the bluer color. So we're talking about the luminosity, which is at the surface of the star. Now our goal here is to find the amount of flux received from star B compared to star A. And both stars are located at the same distance from Earth. So we want to know on one square meter, let's get a bigger pen. So we're going to look and pretend that's one square meter. And we want to find out, let's put it in a different spot, put it right there. We want to find out how much of the starlight is going to reach at the surface of that one square meter on Earth from star A compared to star B. So we call this flux. So we want to know what is the flux of one star compared to the flux of the other star. So flux is the amount of luminosity that leaves the star in all different directions, but we want to know the amount that lands in one square meter on the surface we're looking at, which in this case is Earth. So we have an equation, and that equation is flux is equal to the luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared, where d is the distance between the star and Earth, which happens to be the same in both cases for the star, because that's what we're given. The stars are located at the same distance from Earth. So the flux of A, we're just going to substitute it in A everywhere. That is equal to the luminosity of A divided by 4 pi d squared. And the flux of B is the luminosity of B divided by 4 pi d squared. So we want to see the flux received from star B compared to star A. So whenever we see the word compared, we generally want a ratio. So we're going to look at the flux of B divided by the flux of A. Well, we're just going to take this entire equation and we're going to divide it by this entire equation. So there's the f of b, and there's the f of a, and the numerator and denominator, and now we just need to substitute in the right-hand side. So the luminosity of b divided by 4 pi d squared, and then in the denominator, we have the luminosity of a divided by 4 pi d squared. So let's take a look at this. So we have the flux of B is equal to the luminosity of B divided by 4 pi d squared. Well, there's the flux of B. There's equal to luminosity of B divided by 4 pi d squared. Same thing with the right hand, the flux of A. Flux of A is equal to the luminosity of A divided by 4 pi d squared. But we need to write this into a simpler format. We got too many division signs here. So luminosity of B is in the numerator, so we're going to keep it and 4 pi d squared is in the denominator, so we're going to put it in the denominator. Now this is actually in the denominator as well, L sub a, so we're going to add it down below. And this 4 pi d squared actually gets kicked up to the numerator. So we're going to put in a 4 pi d squared in the numerator. Now we can eliminate like letters, like numbers, and like symbols. So we can eliminate 4 pi and 4 pi. We can eliminate d squared and d squared. So the only thing we're left with is the luminosity of b relative to the luminosity of a. So we just add that in there. The flux of b divided by the flux of a is equal to the luminosity of b divided by the luminosity of a. Now we're given one more piece of information. And that piece is that star a has four times more luminosity than star b. Well, we can put that into an equation. The luminosity of A is equal to four times the luminosity of B. Now we have an equation that we can substitute in. So where we see LA, we put in 4LB. 
So this is equal to LB divided by 4LB. So all we do is substitute in for LA, and that is 4LB. Now we eliminate the variables. L sub B gets eliminated, eliminated with L sub B, and we're left with 1 quarter as our result. 1 on top and a quarter or 4 on the bottom. So our, our final answer is the flux of B relative to the flux of A is equal to 1 quarter. So this star A star B problem gives you an idea of how to solve math problems without actually knowing the luminosity of either A or luminosity of either B, and hence the flux of B or the flux of A. Notice we don't have any numbers with symbols, like numbers and units, such as luminosity. So we have just a relationship. We received four times as much flux from A compared to B. Or you can look at it another way. The flux of B is one quarter the amount that's received from the flux of A.